In this video, we're going to look at lighting a Bunsen burner. So the first thing that I do is I come over to this uh, control box and I flick the uh, switch for the gas to come on. And you can see we've got this testing light. This is testing all the pipes to make sure that there are no uh, issues with the gas coming through. Also checks if there are any gas taps that have been left on. Um, it will alarm and we won't be able to um, have the gas come through. We'll have to reset um, with that emergency stop or I can put the key in again and um, check all of the taps and then um, we can try again. So the next thing I do is if I'm working at this table here, then I come to my cupboard and I open it up and I get out all of the bits of equipment that the teacher has told me to do. So today I'm going to take a heat proof mat. Okay, this protects the table. So I'm going to put my Bunsen burner onto that. I've got a Bunsen burner. Okay, I'm going to put that on the table there. I'm going to take a, a tripod. Okay, and I'm going to take a gauze. Okay, this is what we sit our beaker on. Okay, and with all of those bits and pieces, I'm going to then go over to my general lab equipment and I'm going to get from here a beaker. Okay, so that's going to help me out with what I'm showing you as well. So sometimes we get stuff out of our cupboards, sometimes we go to the general lab equipment. Now I'm going to show you how to set up all of the equipment. So the Bunsen burner comes like this. This rubber tubing always stays on. We don't take this off and we sit that onto our um, heat proof mat that protects the table so that we don't cause any damage to the table. We've then got the other bit of the rubber tubing and we just check this, make sure there's no splits in it. It can become brittle over time um, and that looks good. So I'm going to put that onto my gas tap like that. Okay, nice tight fit for the Bunsen. Now, I want to be able to put everything on the mat so it's safe, but I don't want my Bunsen burner underneath while I'm lighting it, okay? So if you notice, what I've done is I've put one corner of the tripod on the corner of the mat here, not so close to the edge that it's likely to fall, but just safely on the mat there. And then I've got my Bunsen burner here and I can just simply take it under, take it out without um, needing to put it onto the table. Okay, and then I'll, my, this is my gauze and I can sit that on top of my um, tripod there and I can even put my beaker on there. So I'll put some water into my beaker. Okay, I've got about 100 mils there onto my um, tripod there with my gauze and what I'm going to do now is show you how we light the Bunsen safely. Now if we look at the Bunsen here we've got this bit here, this bit's called the chimney and this bit is called the collar and you can see the collar turns and we've got the air hole open or we've got the air hole closed. So there it is open and there it is closed. Now when it's closed it doesn't let as much oxygen in. When it's open lots and lots of oxygen can get into that flame and it makes it burn more vigorously, okay? So we want to start with the air hole completely closed, okay, it's hard to show you. There we go, completely closed and that will give us a safety flame. Now what your teacher will do is they will light uh, one Bunsen probably and then you will light yours from that Bunsen but I'm just gonna light this splint here Okay, using my match. You won't get to use matches, you'll always use a splint. So it's a piece of wood um, that we can use to light. We tend to walk around kind of shielding it like this so we don't cause any harm to anyone. Um, if it looks like it's starting to go out like that, we can just go down a bit. Oh, it has gone out. Try that one again. Quite often that can happen. I'm gonna continue even though uh, we've had this small setback because sometimes that happens in science. Okay, so if I relight that splint. And sometimes if it's burning lots, we can just hold it like this and it will burn slightly less. And if it looks like it's going out, as I was about to show you, we can do this and it will stop burning more up the splint um, so that we can keep it alight, okay? But generally speaking, we can hold it like this, shield it like this, and we're gonna bring that over to the Bunsen 
and we're going to hold it above the Bunsen burner. Now this is where people start getting a bit frantic. That's not a good idea. We like to stay as calm as possible and we're going to light our Bunsen by turning on the gas tap. Now hopefully this is still in the view of the camera. You can see here I can lift up the gas tap and it drops down. That means it's off. Okay, so I'm going to lift that and I'm going to turn it and the gas will come through and I've lit my Bunsen burner. Nice and safe on the orange safety flame. My splint is still burning. It's getting closer to my hand. It's really easy. I'm not going to blow it because that's going to blow my Bunsen out. I'm just going to place it on the mat there and you can see pretty quickly that goes out. Okay, so that's now safe. Again, everything on the mat, not on the table. Now, if I put this Bunsen burner underneath that water now, it's going to create a sooty mark underneath the gauze, which doesn't really matter. But if I then touch that and then I touch my face, I'm going to be putting all of that soot all over the place. It's going to make a bit of a mess. So what we want to do is we want to put it onto the heating flame, okay, the blue roaring flame. And to do that, I turn the air hole. You can see it's almost looking invisible. That's why we call this one the safety flame, because we can see it. And then as I turn it round, you can hear that change, that roaring flame. Now, hopefully you can see that flame. There's kind of two blue parts to it. There's like a blue flame up here and then there's a smaller blue flame just down here. And the top of that inner blue flame is the hottest part of the flame. And then I can just pop that underneath and I can start heating up my water. Okay. So we can see that in action. So it's blue flame under the tripod and then safety flame when we come out, okay? So if I've finished doing what I want to do with the Bunsen, I can take it out and I can just put it back on safety flame. So if my teacher wants to talk to me, I can put it on safety flame and I know that no one's gonna get hurt by it and I'm ready to have the conversation with the teacher, okay? When we want to turn our Bunsens off, we don't blow them out, we just do exactly what we do if it was a, um, a tap with uh, water coming out of it, we just lean over, not over the flame, because that would be dangerous, but we just lean and we just turn off the tap like that. And so long as it lifts up and drops down, we know it's safe. Okay, so that's our first basic lesson in how to use a Bunsen burner. Hopefully you found that exciting. Hopefully it's made you excited to join us in September. Thank you.